What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Blind. In the last episode, we started exploring this cave-like area, with all these echo flowers and everything, and in this episode, we're hopefully going to learn more about these souls that we've been learning a bit about, and we got this interesting statue up here. My my boss senses are tingling, so I hope, I'm thinking we're going to get to some big battle soon, but it's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Interesting. What are they? Do we know? Is this maybe indicating some sort of notes, some sort of notes to play on that piano from before, or what? Please take one. The umbrella. <laughs> take an umbrella. Sure. I took an umbrella. Should I bring it back and give it to the statue? Put the umbrella on the statue. Yeah. <laughs> you place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. The music continues, and doesn't stop. There we go. Okay, so it's essentially button, up, right, button, down, down, right. Button, up, right, button, down, down, right. Cool, so we'll go do that now, and hopefully we get some big treasure. This kind of like reminds me of the Ocarina from, you know, Zelda games. Alright, so it was button, up, Right, button, down, down, right. Ooh, that sound effect seemed really familiar for some reason. Can we go in? There we go. What is this? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yeah. You're carrying too many dogs. What? What? I'm not carrying any dogs. Annoying dog. <laughs> Undertale, why do you do this to me? Annoying dog, dog, a little white dog. It's fast asleep. That is so funny. That's hilarious. Can we, can we use the annoying dog? You deploy the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. I really... Really hope that I didn't just screw myself over there. I really hope that I didn't have to like go back to my box, put the annoying dog back, and then come back here. Well, I'm gonna live with that happening. <laughs> We're just gonna move on with it. I, I can imagine Undertale doing that as kind of like a way to build up to this incredible treasure or something like that and then getting you to get cheated of it and it not actually being all that important but it was just a funny setup and everything i can also see undertale actually making that an item that is really um that is really important and just making it so easy for a user to kind of screw themselves out of it either way i guess that's what i did the first time around and so we're gonna we're gonna stick with it um should i grab another umbrella you took an umbrella. Cool. Now we'll move on. Stylish with our umbrella. I'm so glad we have this umbrella. Are these puddles? Oh, they are. We'll, we'll walk right through them, because it's fun walking in puddles. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. <coughs> Let's go. I guess we're going together. You gotta follow along, bud, or you're not gonna be able to go. Doesn't look like you're even getting that much coverage from the umbrella right now anyways. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha. You're... Ha <laughs> ha, that's so funny. Ha 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 ha. What is up with you, Scraggy? Hmm? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. And that got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? <laughs> she could beat up all the teachers. Yeah, that's clearly what you should be thinking about after, you know, responsibility and taking care of the flowers and everything. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Interesting. If we prove we're innocent, would she then not beat us up or something? This is very Castlevania-esque. 
It's pretty cool. Nice view. I dig. Oh, I didn't want to go back. What? Oh, am I actually in the screen? I am. I couldn't see myself, and I was like hitting up, down, left, right, A, like B, A, B. What, what am I supposed to do? But I'm actually on this screen. I see a thumbnail. <laughs> what you doing, Scraggy? Huh? Just chilling here with my friend Scraggy. Off looking at the castle in the distance. What scenery? Alright, I guess we're moving on. You can grab an umbrella for yourself, bud. No, no, don't run on. You need an umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Is it? Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. I guess that works. Yo, you aren't going to be able to climb with an umbrella. Oh, I guess not. Return the umbrella? Sure. You return the umbrella. <laughs> this reminds me of Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Do some, like, bros moves and all that. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through it. <laughs> no kidding, you are that type of NPC. Despite how many face plans you managed to do. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Aww. It doesn't seem like a very human thing to do. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. I love the word serene. It's one of my favorite words, actually. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. It's so silent. So unnerving. Hmm? What are these, like, slimes? There are a lot of them. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I see. That's pretty cool. I like this music a lot. Definitely a good, like, intense battle theme. I dig it. Ooh, interesting. We got some choices about the uh, correct path. Aw, oh, rip. I thought that would be the one. It's probably over here? Nope. <laughs> the game knows what like my natural tendencies would be. That's for sure. Yep. Again, I always want to keep going like to the right and up. Or like towards the center, I guess. I should have figured it out. It feels like the uh, spear attacks are becoming more frequent as I get closer to the right path. Or like the correct one. Aw, oh, darn. Again. Oh, what? That's not... I wanted to move downward, but... Nice open area. Aw, oh, or not. What? I thought I was out of the range. I guess not. Oh, sometimes it's hard to see because like the the shadows of the previous ones are still there. They've slowed down a bit, so I probably got a bit of a longer path ahead of me. Cause they got really fast towards the end there. Am I at am I at the end? I'm I'm not getting attacked anymore, but I'm also, I also feel like I'm at a dead end now, so that's not exactly the best place to be. Are the attacks going to pick back up as I go backwards now? Or did I just lose her? Uh-oh. 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 And down we go. Huh? It sounds like it came from over here. <clears throat> oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Who are you? Here, get up. Zero, huh? That's a nice name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> My name is... Who is you? Another one of these flower beds. 
Oh. I guess a lot of water, too. What's going on over here? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. <clears throat> Just garbage. Where are we? The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. I was like wondering, like, all right, all right, what, ex what exactly about this is going to fill me with determination? It seems it's the endless cycle that we're observing. Quite a few brands you recognize. I'm afraid there's going to be some item in one of these piles of garbage. Regardless, we're, we're trekking through quite a bit of water. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. A honk of despair. What a what a thing. <laughs> Just garbage. What's this? A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Aw. Garbage. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Of course. You got the astronaut food. Pretty neat. A trash heap. I love that they're just coming up with different like words and phrases for the same item. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. I, I feel you. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. <laughs> Where are we that a training dummy would be there? Whoa! That training dummy does not seem happy about it. Haha, -ha, too intimidated, intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. <laughs> My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. Wait, we tried, I tried talking to that dummy first. I tried talking to it. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. I guess... Is this the Napsta Blue theme too? Mad Dummy blocks the way. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll check him. Oh wow, attack 30 defense, yes. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Interesting. Oh, yikes, they come from the bottom too. Oh, I see. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! My dummy is looking nervous. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for a conversation. No one is happy with this. <laughs> I'll defeat you and take your soul. Don't take my soul. Oh, coming from the side now too. Whoa. And those should hit him. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Well, I guess we'll keep talking to him. I mean, I'm not going... I don't plan on fighting. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this, alright? I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. I figured that was what some of the monsters would want to do at the very least. Nice, we got quite a few hits in there. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. Bossing around? We'll keep trying to talk. Hey, you know, man, we don't have to fight. Like, this is all started by you. I'm not even fighting back. You're, you're, I feel like the typical line, you know, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. <laughs> the, like, dream for any dummy. That's really funny. I get it. Mad dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. We'll keep doing this. The attacks seem to be getting more intense. Then everything I want will be mine! Gotcha. So I'm gonna have to... Oh, interesting. Mad Dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. What? <laughs> this game. So self-aware and everything. I love it. And man, this dummy is flying all over the place. Let's see. Is he gonna stay stationary? Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Whoa. Why is he, like, breaking apart in the middle? Is that supposed to be somewhat of, like, a mouth or something with teeth? Mad Dummy's getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk again. 
What was their name again? They don't even remember the name of the cousin. Was it Napsta Bluke and that's why the, uh... What's it called? Soundtrack is so seen? Can we try sparing him? Whatever, whatever, whatever! I guess... I guess it doesn't seem to be too successful, at the very least. I gotta be more aware of where he stands earlier on. Foolish, foolish, foolish! Let's have to dodge these, and he goes over here, so we'll wanna send those that way. Mad Dummy is getting caught in this still. Man, this guy's. This is one resilient dummy. I mean, I guess they are built to be resistant, but feeble, feeble, feeble! I forget what the red means again. Oh, is one of those gonna hit him? No, definitely not. Hmm. At least the attacks aren't too difficult to dodge. Like, they're really not all that bad. Oh, look at his eyes. Poor eyes. Hey, guys! Whoa! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Yikes. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! The magic of friendship. Mechanical words fill the room. Oh boy, is it all the junk? Let's see, um, we'll, we'll try talking again. Still not up for conversation? I guess so. Dummy bots, magic missile! Great. They're homing of some sort. Ah, oh, I, I was gonna say, I thought we'd have to, like, kind of circle them around and, uh, get them to kind of orbit around us and hit him. Mad Dummy's bossing around its bullets. Alright, uh, can we, can we spare him? Nope, I guess not. Dummy bots, try again! And, uh, that way. Perfect. Got him with quite a few of them. We'll keep trying to spare him. Oh, so he's got a different set of them, all firing around. And up. Ah, oh, darn, I thought he was going to stay over there. It smells like a clothing store. I mean, the dummy, I guess. It would, would make sense. Dummy bot's final attack! I don't know, I'm kind of giving him a papyrus voice. It's kind of strange, admittedly, but... Aw, oh, darn, I got hit by it. Whoa, that's... That's a lot of missiles. Oh. Okay, at least he kind of walked into some of them. No, no way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! His whole face is kind of weird. He kind of looks like a... The dummy's head looks like a nose, and his body looks like a mouth, and he's got eyes on the nose part of his head. It's kind of weird, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! The power of friendship, though? I've got knives! <laughs> wow, those knives are really effective. I'm... Out of knives. <laughs> but it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me forever! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. You alright over there? You alright over there, dummy? <laughs> Until Naps the Blue comes in to, to save the day. Wh what the heck is this? Acid rain? Oh, forget it! I'm out of here! I guess we'll see you later, dummy, potentially. Hey, it's our boy, Napsta Bluke! Good guy, Napsta Bluke. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no, no, don't leave us, Napsta Bluke! Don't leave us! <laughs> well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um,. Feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. Would you be able to take us? It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll gladly stop by, but... Are we, are we able to? Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll save real quick. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. We obviously made it past this little boss area. North, Bluke Acres, East Hotland, West Temi Village, potentially. Alright, so it looks like there's a lot to explore. Let's let's go up to Nepsta Bluke's house first. Oh my goodness, what a house. Oh, and he's got the headphones on? I dig it. Oh, he really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. 
And the CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Yeah. You play the CD. Cool. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the CD is labeled Gouladay Music. I admittedly like the original the best. It's a spider web. Are they selling another thing? There's a flyer for a bake sale. Can, can we... Can we get this bake sale? I guess not. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. <laughs> it's like uh, the lyrics to that one dubstep song. You know, the one that goes, wub, wub, wub. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, I guess that's Napster Blue's thing. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. How about the fridge? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. I'm a little bit afraid this monster food isn't going to be exactly what I'm accustomed to. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? I mean, yeah. Yeah, we'll give it a go. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. Admittedly, I don't think we're going to be able to do much. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Oh, sure. Okay, follow my lead. <laughs> Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. <laughs> Can we just talk about how great this... This situation is. Next, Luke's just in his house listening to some music, and some person he didn't expect to come over actually comes over, and they're just chilling. It. Whoa. Whoa. What is, guys? What is going on? What is going on with this background and everything? Are we like becoming one with the universe as we lie down with Napster Luke, who's clearly ahead of all of us in his ghost sandwiches, and just lies down after a meal, feeling like garbage. <laughs> this game, I tell you. This game, I tell you guys. I, I'm, I'm tempted now. Like, what happens if we wait even longer? I feel like this was the intended effect. And it's not going to go beyond this. Because it sounds like the music just looped. So I guess we'll move now. And uh, break this sort of trance. But, well, that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Cool. Ah, oh, I gotcha. I can't look at the, the computer itself. Alright, well, it, it was fun hanging out, Naps the Blue. We'll, uh, catch you another time. Who's your neighbor? It's locked. Oh. Is there anything behind the houses? No? Okay, I wouldn't put it past Undertale to hide something there. Oh, where's Sans? I can hear that he's here. Whoa. I guess, hello there. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. <laughs> Alright. This snail is counting dollar bills. Okay. I've been long overdue for a second house. That, you don't look very snail-like. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Sarani mukoi, purusu ultra. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. So snail, this is Sam Buell. Hey, I see you, Sam. <laughs> it's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. I mean, a lot of French people know. Is this for the snail races? Shout out to SpongeBob. Where's the rock? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's tangled to play. Sure, I'm not a gambler, but I feel like for the sake of, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? I wonder how hard I'm gonna have to like actually mash. Go, go, go! I'm, I'm trying to encourage you, bud. No, you gotta, you gotta go. I'm trying really hard. He's like on fire! Not in, in not a good way! <laughs> oh, looks like you encourage your snail too much. 
all that pressure to succeed really got to her. <laughs> I love, I love that they did that. Oh. Rip, that's really funny. I guess there's gotta be some sort of like... Yeah, we'll, we'll play it again. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the real winner here is, is The Rock. Uh, for those of you that get the, the reference to, I think it was Patrick in the snail races. You know, SpongeBob gets super intense with, with Gary and this one other snail. And, you know, Squidward's got his, like, luxury snail and everything. But Patrick somehow manages to win this race with quite literally a rock. But, so there's got to be some golden, you know, pace at which we're supposed to encourage this snail. Uh, let's see here. So he starts off moving just fine. I feel like I need to wait for when he's, you know, fallen behind a little bit or something like that. Come on, bud, you can do it. I believe in you. Every time I encourage him, he stops. Looks like he's getting a little slow. There's no way. Come on, bud, you can do it. I believe in you. But, not actually. You're way too far behind. Yeah, there's no way. It doesn't seem like he's moving any faster either. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh, yikes. I want to try it again. I, want, I really want to do this. I really, there's got to be some way to win. All right, we'll, we'll try doing a little bit more encouragement right off the bat. It's like, go, go, go! Or not. <laughs> the, snow, the snail is clearly just that much slower. I swear, the more I encourage it, the slower it gets. I think that's the point. I think that's the really funny thing. Soon it's gonna just, yeah. Let's see. Now if I encourage it a lot, it'll turn fire. Now it'll be a bigger fire. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm pretty sure the point is to see if um, you just like don't encourage it at all. Yeah, we'll play again. We'll play again. This is this is worth it for me. The, the entertainment, the value from just exp this experience is worth the 40 gold I've spent on it. We will give no encouragement. Let the snail persevere on its own. Let it strive for its own goals. Let it learn for itself what it means to succeed. Let it... <laughs> Endure the struggles of, you know, the harsh reality of the world that is, oh man, it's, it's still losing. And I can't, there's no way I'm supposed to encourage it. Can I encourage the other snails? Because it seems that the only thing encouraging does is slow it down. Hmm. I think after this I'll be done with this mini game for, for a while. But it was pretty funny, admittedly. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. The best wasn't good enough. I feel like there's got to be some balance. There's like some right number of times to encourage because we've either over encouraged it or under. It's it, you know it gets to the end of the race and it feels discouraged. But I'll come back to this maybe another time. Uh, that was a pretty funny sidetrack or detour in my opinion. And now we will save. And it looks like we have what's it called? We have two ways we can go: left or right. Because I generally associate right with progress. Um, we're going to go to the left first, but we're going to do so in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It was really fun. That, that boss battle with the dummy was really funny. And it was a great time uh, getting to hang out with Napstip Luke and check out his snail races and all that stuff. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.